Thanks so much. I'm always really humbled to know that audiences like these um, like to hear what I have to say. So I hope that as we head into lunch, um, we're able to share some of the highlights of what FDA has learned with you so that you could take it back and um, implement some of our strategies in your markets to make a difference. Despite decades of progress in tobacco control, smoking remains the leading cause of preventable disease and death in the United States. Every day, more than 2,300 teens smoke their first cigarette, and over 400 youth become daily smokers. To overcome this problem, sophisticated tobacco prevention strategies are critical. Since FDA has been in the market of education, we've developed three different targeted campaigns talking to di different segments of the youth population. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you about Fresh Empire and the real cost. Each youth audience is nuanced and unique, which requires a very sophisticated, culturally relevant strategy to increase tobacco free attitudes and beliefs with different audiences. These at-risk teens are either underserved by tobacco prevention or highly resistant to our types of messages. So we need to be laser targeted and hyper relevant to get them to pause and rethink a lifelong relationship with tobacco. There are roughly 6 million multicultural youth in the United States, nearly half of which identify with hip hop culture, which makes them at a higher risk of using tobacco than their peers. Hip hop youth are often marginalized and difficult to reach with public health campaigns. Their unique values and norms are rarely portrayed in ads, so they don't break through as being personally relevant. This limit a hip hop teen's opportunity to lead a healthy life. While hip hop culture encourages positive values such as hard work, achieving success, and overcoming the myriad of personal struggles, it can also promote images and messages that glorify tobacco use. By including tobacco as part of song lyrics and modeling smoking behavior, many hip hop role models have established tobacco use as the norm, creating an even greater need for targeted and authentic prevention campaigns. So let's welcome Fresh Empire to the stage. Fresh Empire is a campaign that uses Rescue's proprietary social branding model to impact the perception and beliefs around tobacco use in the context of cultural values that are relevant to a very unique target audience. We started by identifying an audience who aligns deeply with hip hop culture and values and developed a brand that uses an integrated cross-channel model to reach hip hop teens where they spend much of their time. At the core of our strategy, we're using technology and content to meet our audience in places like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and some of the most relevant online destinations where, consume, where they're consuming news and content. By leveraging best-in-class creative and media platforms, we're able to generate engagement with the brand through custom ad units, the latest in innovative social media tactics, and by creating our own tailored web experiences. All this works to reinforce the brand's cultural relevance and help our target embrace the idea that tobacco harms their health and ultimately keeps them from achieving their goals. Our campaign is designed to assimilate into hip hop culture by closely aligning with core community values to gain trust and then create a groundswell of change from within the culture, therefore influencing perceptions of tobacco use among multicultural youth. One way we ensure credibility and authenticity is by partnering with amazing tobacco-free influencers. Using authentic messengers with considerable influence within the target audience helps us deliver content that can bolster our uh, credibility and message reach. We seamlessly incorporate these influencers into our creative while also maintaining the integrity of who they are as artists. Fresh Empire is a great thing. I think we should use our platforms and hip hop more to try to help somebody, save somebody's health. If you could use something that everybody loves to promote something everybody should love, why not do it? I just, I do me, you know. A mm -hmm. big part of doing me is, you know, living tobacco free. I want to change the game and let people know you can be positive and still be popular. And that's, that's one thing that I feel as though Fresh Empire pushes with the hip hop side of it. So that's why I rock with Fresh Empire and live tobacco free. 
So one example of our, how our overall strategy came to life is through a highly innovative digital extension called the New Wave. The New Wave was an interactive experience we built to reinforce changing perceptions around tobacco use in hip hop culture. At its core, it was a bracket style competition among six key up and coming hip hop artists who were carefully selected based on their following, the influence they had in the culture, and their momentum as rising stars in hip hop music. Leveraging every channel at our disposal, we were successful in generating huge interest and enormous engagement numbers among our audience. Let's take a look. Fresh Empire teamed up with six tobacco-free hip-hop artists to create The New Wave, a six-week tournament-style competition featuring some of hip-hop's most talked-about up-and-comers. The culture's leading media outlet, Complex, was enlisted to produce and amplify the competition, furthering its credibility. And one of hip-hop's most respected personalities, Sway, was recruited to host, adding yet another layer of authenticity. Users voted on who progressed to the next round while hearing personal stories from influencers on why living tobacco free is key to achieving success. I'm the biggest advocate for being tobacco free because I've actually had friends and family lost due to the usage of the substance. I choose to stay tobacco free because I always felt like it was just my chance to break the chain with my grandmother smoking and my mom smoking. And you know, I just felt like I didn't want to see my kids do that, and I didn't want to be the one to influence them, so I decided to just completely stay away from it and, and be proud of the fact that I stay away from it. Iconic hip-hop influencers organically contributed to the contest. They shared the new wave content despite website visits and votes from our target audience to an all-time record high. The buzz continued as the new wave received organic earned media traffic from hip hop publications encouraging youth to vote for their favorite artists. After a winner was crowned, the competitors hit the road to rock stages in major cities. Teens poured into venues to connect with their favorite artists while absorbing the tobacco free lifestyle in person. Fresh Empire continues to make an impact on multicultural youth, showing them the importance of living a tobacco free life. While we exceeded every media and engagement goal we had set out for this initiative, the real impact was twofold. The first was that we established Fresh Empire as a brand that's a culturally relevant force working with some of the hottest up and coming artists in hip hop. And the second was to reinforce to the target audience that the new wave of successful influential hip hop artists are succeeding in the industry and doing it while being tobacco free. Turning to our social media strategy, a great deal of market research led us to understand where our audience spends their time engaging on cutting edge platforms. The Fresh Empire social media channels are on 24 seven. We don't rest because teens never rest. We also use an expert community management team dedicated to interacting with our target audience constantly, auditing our creative to ensure that our content is resonating with the audience. By doing this, we're able to curate a social presence that's completely in keeping with how our audience interacts with each other in this space. And teens don't only interact with us online, they engage with us in person. We execute a very targeted live event strategy to enable youth to experience the brand up close and personal. At our lit events, we leverage influencers, brand ambassadors, and digital creative to create memorable experiences to reinforce the brand's cultural relevance. Our events emphasize the belief that hip hop values perfectly align with living tobacco free, and they're also really fun, as you can see. So thank you for taking a look behind the curtain of Fresh Empire, our highly engaging campaign that weaves the values of hip hop culture with the tobacco free life. And now let's spend the next 10 minutes experiencing the real cost FDA's first youth prevention campaign targeting youth that we call in the general market. The Real Cost hopes to reach nearly 10 million teens in the United States who are either open to smoking or currently experimenting with cigarettes. These ten teens tend to share common risk factors. They are not the cool kids or the popular kids. They're troubled. Many have very difficult lives at home and school, which makes them very stressed. They're surrounded by smokers, making it a social norm. 
which leads to low perceptions of risk. They have poor coping skills and often turn to tobacco, drugs, or alcohol to self-medicate. They know smoking is harmful, that it causes serious diseases like lung cancer, but they don't believe that they can get addicted, and they have no plans to become a regular addicted smoker. So this allows them to ignore the long-term consequences, believing that one cigarette today doesn't cost them anything. So the FDA became committed to portraying that there's a real cost associated with each and every cigarette, and we had to break through their cost-free mentality. So we tried to do this with a, a blend of cutting-edge creative and ingenuity. In 2016, the real cost began research on new round of creative based on teen trends and gaps in their knowledge. We know that tobacco is not a high interest topic. In fact, they don't go out and proactively search what are the consequences of using tobacco products. So they see prevention ads as something that they can de deflect and avoid. Um, and so when it comes to our content development and implementation, we need to fit in seamlessly with teens' digital environments. Even more, we need to be attention grabbing enough to stop their quickly scrolling eyes and thumbs. If we're not equally or more enticing as other content in the digital world, our messages won't get seen. And we have to capture their attention in less than three seconds. One, two, three. And serve a message that doesn't feel like a tobacco one. We worked with partners at the University of Pennsylvania and found that tobacco-related statement, if I smoke, I will stunt my lungs growth, had significant potential to shift attitudes and beliefs towards smoking. This promising statement became a new North Star for our creative. Scientific evidence shows that teens who smoke can develop smaller, weaker lungs that never grow to their normal size, nor perform at full capacity. Armed with this scientific fact, which proved to be quite alarming to the teens we were talking to, the creative team at FCB New York developed Little Lungs. Little Lungs is an animated pair of lungs who smoked as a teen and never grew to normal size. He struggles to keep up with his friends who have regular sized lungs that are healthy. And as you're about to see, his stunted lungs ultimately lead to a tragic demise. The story of a pair of lungs that smoked as a teen and never grew to normal size. Hey, Little Lungs, want to snowboard with us? Sounds great, count me in. Woohoo! I'm ready! Yeah! <laughs> Speed up! My little lungs can't get enough air. Ah, ah, oh, ah, ah. Smoking as a teen can stunt your lungs, keeping them little forever. Oh, poor little lungs. In a great big world. Little lungs in a great big world. The last one out gets eaten by a shark. <laughs> Whatever. Shark! Too slow, little lungs. In a great big world. That's gotta hurt, and you guys all have six sense of humor. So. In breaking through to kids, media strategy is as important as dynamic creative, and so we let teen social media behaviors dictate our message implementation. Working with our media buying partners as an initiative, we followed the latest media consumption trends to ensure that our messaging would look like all other content they see on social feeds. Importantly, we know that at-risk teens over-index on irreverent and dark comedy, such as Family Guy and Bob's Burgers. Due to their well-developed sense of humor, we designed Little Lungs to meet these media passion points. Teens also watch more and more content online, as you've been hearing all day, and they watch it on their mobile phones. With over 70% of you spending at least three hours a day watching online video, it kind of makes you wonder why they're not studying more. Get it together, Little Lungs. So we fit into teens' media space. We wanted to create an animated series like the style of shows they were already watching and implement it on digital and mobile, where it would fit in seamlessly and not stand out as tobacco prevention messaging that's preachy about what not to do. Bad gummit little lungs. Then to tackle fleeting attention spans, we created short clips because we learned that content on digital needed to be served in quick bursts to keep their interest high. So we know this audience spends a large amount of time uh, consuming online video, Facebook, and Instagram, and all five videos were placed on these three social media channels for maximum reach. We ran Little Lungs in a series format like other online video series, where we released all videos at once, auto-loaded them back to back so they would just play in a row. 
Youth quickly switch between pieces of content and don't hesitate to move on if their attention is lost. So with all videos on one platform, auto-loading one after the other, we enable the youth to watch and engage with all of our videos at once, and we really allow them to fully absorb the message. So we always ended with the line, smoking as a teen can stunt your lungs, keeping them little forever, to reinforce our message in a clear and consistent way. On our social media platforms, we targeted teens by using tailored tactics such as Facebook Canvas, Instagram Takeover, and unified the campaign with the hashtag Little Lungs, allowing them to easily find content and dig deeper into Little Lungs' story. In our social media posts, we always link to the realcost.gov, where we could expand on the messaging and provide more in-depth information on tobacco basics, the health effects, and tools with quitting once kids have acknowledged that they might actually be addicted to a product that they thought that they would never get addicted to. So the website is designed to deliver short bite-side tiles with small amount of content in digestible format, which is just the way that kids like to learn. In addition to our digital and social implementation, we leverage our media vendors to create custom partnerships with relevant influencers, therefore extending and amplifying our message. So Little Lungs was featured with several influencers that are relevant to at-risk teens. Here you can see Little Lungs with WWE stars who tail the tale of their competitor who smoked as a teen but couldn't keep up in the wrestling world. For such a small pair of lungs, man, he had a huge heart. I just wish you'd known that smoking will keep you small forever. Little Lungs also appeared in the wildly popular Robot Unicorn mobile game, where Little Lungs slows down the performance of the unicorn, which is not a good thing. And finally, Little Lugs found his way into the X Games, where our stunted Lugs message was hard-hitting among sports, teens who loved and had a passion for sports, but still have a very high sensation tendency with extreme sports. So teens loved Little Lungs, they reported the animated and engaging nature of Little Lungs, caught them by surprise, kept their interest as digital content they would watch every day and share with their friends. The series format of implementation was a relevant way to mimic teen trends and fold tobacco advertising seamlessly into their busy, cluttered digital environments. On social media, our audience engaged with both the stylized stop-motion animation and the tobacco fact itself. The connection between Little Lung's unfortunate adventures and the stunted lungs fact was clearly understood based on the substance of the social media comments we received. Importantly, teens empathized with Little Lungs as a character, found the content amusing while it did strike a darkly humorous chord, and reiterated the stunted lungs fact in their comments. In just five months, Little Lungs served over 107 million impressions. 47 million video views across all platforms, and we had 9 million engagements on social media. So Little Lungs added to the portfolio of successful work produced by The Real Cost over the last four years. This campaign has uh, tracked teens' knowledge, attitudes, beliefs, and behaviors related to tobacco use since our launch, and recent independent evaluation results have validated that our strategy and tactics are highly effective. Results indicate that youth who saw the real cost between 2014 and 2016 were 30% less likely to start smoking, and this equates to preventing nearly 350,000 teenagers in the U.S. from starting to smoke, greatly driving down overall youth smoking prevalence, and importantly, dramatically enhancing the health of the nation long into the future. So since FDA's campaigns launched in 2014, we've spent hundreds of millions of dollars trying to save this generation of youth from becoming tomorrow's smokers. That's basically three cents a day per target audience to drive down the smoking rates to their lowest levels in the last 50 years. We've talked to over 20,000 teens about their thoughts, beliefs, and relationship with tobacco, created tens of thousands of creative assets, fished where the fish are by running breakthrough ads in every relevant media platform, hosted over a thousand experiential branded lifestyle events across the nation, and teens are paying attention to a topic they said they didn't care about. 22 million unique visitors have come to our website, over 36 million social media interactions, proving that we've made our way into teens' lives, 110 million video completions showing that they're engaging and absorbing our content, 
and over 29 billion impressions showing the magnitude of our reach. And this is why we're doing it, so that teens will know the cost of each and every cigarette and the benefits of living tobacco free. So as the curtain closes on my talk today, that's all she wrote, and Casey and little Yachty are saying thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it.